What up YouTube? My name is Marvin and today, today, we are going to be checking out the Ibanez MB300C base case. I actually just got this from Guitar Center for about 150 bucks. It's actually right over there. I'm gonna open it up, see what it looks like, see like how the quality is and see what I think about it. And without further ado, let's get this bad boy open. Ooh. It's a box within a box. Ah. Comes wrapped up in this like black thing. Do it like this. Yeah, that hit my ceiling. Wow. I thought this was gonna be like the prestige case. It's actually a little smaller. Here's the case. Pretty cool. Let's open it up. What do you get in the box? You get uh, some candy. Obviously, that's not candy. That's not funny. Don't eat this. This is really toxic. Keys. So you can lock the uh, case whenever you want to have more security and lock it. You got some spaces here. You can put a tuner here. Uh, I assume your cables. You can probably put pedals here. Maybe pedals here and cables there. Space for your headstock. Maybe you could put a pack of strings behind that. Uh, and yeah, just the spacing for the base itself. As you can see, we have a slot here for the headstock. There's this little piece here, probably for a tuner. Here, I would assume maybe cables or, I don't know, drumsticks. <laughs> and you can put some paddles here. I like this here. It's a little section for the neck. It acts like a little pocket that should hold it in place. Along with up here, you can see that things are, it's like poking out. If you can see that, see? Sticks out just ever so slightly to keep things in place. And then obviously the grooves here for the Ibanez standard body, which we're gonna test this with my K5. See how this fits. A Little bit of movement, not super snug, but it is a generic Ibanez case. Close it up. Snaps nicely. It's a little bit of movement inside. I feel confident that it'll protect my base pretty well. Yeah, I think it's gonna be good. I'm gonna try it with two more of my Ibanez bases. Here is my four string Ibanez SRX2 EX2. Slightly different body shape, which is exactly why I'm doing this. This one doesn't fit as snug. It fits, but you can see that little bit of movement. Actually, I feel less movement inside. We're gonna try one more base. So now we've got my Ibanez SR1005 EWN, a neck through design. So maybe that's gonna be a little different to see how it fits. Yeah, this one fits much more differently. And this base is actually curved in the body. Yeah, see? So the base's body is actually slightly curved. That could be exactly why it doesn't fit that well. But what matters, I guess, is when it's closed. Yeah, doesn't move at all. Very solid inside. Probably the most solid of the three. Uh, overall, I think that the case should be just fine for any Ibanez base. I kind of wish that it had sealable pockets, if that makes sense. Like the, the pockets have the flaps that open, you can put stuff inside. But I guess it doesn't really matter because the top of it does have that lump that I pointed out that should keep things from moving inside. Only time will tell. Uh, I'm gonna be using this when I start gigging again. So that's the only way I'll really know. But I do feel confident that it will protect your, uh, your base very well. 
and it isn't as bulky as you might think. I thought it was the size of like a regular Prestige Ibanez case. It's not as thick as that. It's a little more slimmed down. So if uh, space and the size is a factor for you in considering uh, adding this to your arsenal, just know it's a little bit smaller, but at the end of the day, it is a hard shell case. Those always take up a lot of space. So keep that in mind. Overall, I think it's still a good offering from Ibanez. Probably don't really need it for your cheaper bases, but if you have anything pretty expensive, um, so I would rather get a case just to know that it's in a safe place. Ha, huh. see? I rhymed. Anywho, thank you for checking out this quick video. It's not meant to be some extended demo with me trying the tone of the, of the case and seeing how it sits in a mix. So if you need to do all of that, this isn't the video for you, but either way, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe and have a great day. Thank you.